It's funny, I never even told my wife or my son, and they was driving them crazy because everybody was asking them. But uh, uh, no, I felt really good about it. I, just because it was me, I was able to do it myself, you know, it, and I didn't have, uh, and I got their peer opinion without any um, anything tainted from me. And, uh, and Steve, uh, we'd had a long conversation around the combine about uh, the, the two players, and um, we both kind of aired things about each guy and the positives and the negatives. And it just, there was just, it, Taylor just plays so hard, you know, he gives you something we haven't had in so long that it, absolute passion and drive. And, you know, everybody says, oh, he gets hit. Well, gee, he's in those hard areas, playing in those hard areas. Everybody's dying to have a player like that. Now we have one. You know, and I think he's just a hes just a guy that rises up. He wants to win. He wants to win the Stanley Cup. He was the first guy of all those high-ranked players that talked about winning a Stanley Cup right from the get-go. its He talks about team. He talks about having a success. He talks about being not being worried about, you know, stepping up and trying to help change not not to do it all on his own but help as a team to change to help change our franchise along with the rest of the guys we have so you know he, he talked about the young players that we have in our organization how excited he is to come to the organization how excited he is to come to the tradition of the organization uh, he's a hockey guy we're, we're really excited about him. I had the pleasure of being able to watch Sagan through the uh, a number of times during the season when he he was a dynamic player and uh, and I'm not at any at all um, knocking Tyler Sagan. He, he's a tremendous talent, be a tremendous player in the National Hockey League, and he's a fine young man. And but yeah, I was there was lots of times during the year that I was on Tyler Sagan's side in, in this process. And and uh, but just when after we'd gone through the whole everything and I gathered all the information, was able to just kind of sit there and clear my head and look at it all and go back over and read my reports, read our guys' reports, and hear the passion of our, of our staff, uh, it just came real clear. But there was a lot of moments, like throughout the, the, the season, where in the World Junior, how he, how he raised his play up. I even went to Jordan Eberle during the, after the World Junior and said, what kind of guy is this guy? And we went through it, and Jordan and I talked, and you know, like he just said, this guy always showed up when we needed him. And uh, that was good for me. Like, uh, if you know Jordan, He's a deep guy, he's a smart guy, and he knows. And I said, Jordan, would you like to play with him? He says, I'd love to play with him. So, you know, uh, that was, those little factors start to, you know, play into it all. And, and hey, the play in the Memorial Cup was special. But the play when he scored later on in the Memorial Cup when he came to the wing and blasted the puck past uh, um, uh, Jones, you know, uh, it was another moment. Uh, when he scored the OT winner against Barry, uh, when he helped... Uh, within a team concept and, and continue to stay on task uh, when they were on 3 nothing in the playoffs to Kitchener. You know, he was within the group. He didn't panic. The team didn't panic. He's, uh, he's a very unique young man that just is very focused on the game. And, and just, if you talk to him, he's, he's, uh, he, he knows everything about what's happening around him about the hockey. You know, like, you could say to him, who's leading the Western League in scoring? Oh, that's so-and-so, you know, or he had a good week this week. He, he's just, he's a hockey player. He, he's interested. He's interested in the tradition of the game. He, he's a kind of special guy. He's a unique guy that we haven't had for a while.